What's going on guys? Ben Galligan here coming back at you with another video. So I'm trying out this high quality recording stuff. Hope it works out. Last episode, we played the Washington Redskins and kind of the Cowboys. We've got some upgrade points after that game against the Redskins. Morris Dubose, Roman Pugh, Will Hernandez, Terrell Basham, and Andrew Adams. We're going to start off with Morris Dubose. It's kind of a tough decision because even though we're man-to-man -man style, man doesn't work. It straight up doesn't. So I'm thinking about leaning towards zone coverage here. I think that would be for the best to get his zone all the way up. Because like, man does not cut it, dude. It just doesn't play well in this game. Even though he's got 91 man, I don't feel like he's ever there in man coverage situations. So we are going to play zone, I think. If I commit to it, I got to commit to it. I could go all the way just to man and see how 99 plays. Oh, that's such a gamble. I'm gonna... We're gonna even this out. We're gonna go zone. He's up to an 89 overall with confidence. And that's gonna boost agility, awareness, play rec... Speed? Okay. So we don't get zone coverage, which is dumb. But we get plus one to speed, which gives him 99 speed. All right, Morris. I might want to consider the fact he could return kicks for us. That wouldn't be the worst option. Roman Pugh, it's got to be power rusher. Give me 90 plus power move. Come on. Give me a plus three to power move. How sick would that be? Ooh, plus one. So we're going to be at a 90 at least. He's up to an 85 overall as a rookie. But Morris Dubose is going off. 90 power move should be pretty good. Will Hernandez. So we're an agile style. Uh, I don't know if that's going to end up what we... uh. Or that's going to be what we end up doing. We're going to go to Terrell Basham. We'll come back to Will Hernandez. He's a speed rusher. Get him up to a 76 overall. Terrell Basham's a good player. We're probably going to eventually change his number from 58. Because I like 58. I wanted to give it to, like, players I'll eventually like. And Andrew Adams, of course, zone. You know, he's a free safety. He doesn't play, but might as well be okay when he comes in. Plus two to zone coverage. Gives him a 74. So what would we change to other than spread? What fits the scheme? Run and shoot, I don't like. I want something with elusive back. Although, I will say, that's agile. Oh, man. It was, it's going to have to be. The way every scheme works, except for multiple power run, which doesn't really fit our scheme, or vertical power run, we're not really a power run team. We're going to have to make him agile if he's going to fit in. Or pass protector, maybe. We could do all pass protector. But I don't, I don't think that would work that well. He's actually not that far away from pass protector. And this has a lot of our guys involved. But who matters here? Robeson, Trent Brown, Sterling Shepard. Doesn't affect Howard Russell. Doesn't affect the quarterback. Saquon Barkley is already playing up to a 92 overall. He's already really good. I don't want to make him a receiving back heavy. He's already good at that stuff. I want to just focus on making him a beast runner. What do we do here, man? I like having them fit the scheme, but it's just not going to work. There's nothing that has just, like, power. And then, like, other things. It's just power across the board. Or no power at all. Like, there's no power. Well, that's power. But then I wouldn't have a center. That's power run. Hey, we're going to have to stick in the spread. This angers me a lot. We're going to have to stick in the spread because it fits the most members of our team. It makes the most sense. And we're just going to... I mean, we could try to get him to be an agile style player, but... I don't think... I don't think that would do that much. 65 speed. You know what? We'll try it. It doesn't really matter that much. He goes up to an 81 overall. That's going to boost... Let's see. Awareness, impact block, run block, and pass block plus one. So, he looks a little better. That's what you hope for each time. You know, uh, mm. <laughs> we're just, we're just going to keep on trucking, see how it goes. We got 175 points available for scouting. The quarterback class overall, in my opinion, is weak. It's a weak class. I don't really like anybody here. We're going to have to see if the combine changes my opinion. Which it likely will not. We don't need to worry about running back. Fullback, who cares? Wide receiver, we're set. Tight end, we're set. 
I've looked at some linemen a little bit. Because, you know, Trent Brown could move to the other side. Ugh, some of these guys suck. It's a good power left tackle. Walker Patman in the third round is pretty good looking. He's a real cutie pie. <laughs> I don't think we're going to play the Patriots. The Patriots have no Tom Brady. They are 3-6. and six, And generally, I don't love playing terrible teams because I don't think it makes for that entertaining of a video. Who's their quarterback? Rookie Shred Shedrick Gritton out of Auburn. I hate that name, Shedrick. He's uh, named after his grandparents. There was a uh, Frederick, and uh, his mom's name was Shed. He was named after his Shed. I'm I'm mixed here. I don't think I want to play the Patriots. I think it's gonna be a dumb game. We're gonna play the moments. I know you guys hate when I do this, but I think it helps speed up the series a little bit, which is good. Overall, it's good because it makes it more of a dynasty, more of a real franchise, and just not a couple of seasons. That's great man coverage, Norris Jenkins. That's why I hate man, because it doesn't play well, man. It took me, what, five seconds of game action to complain? But Janoris Jenkins has good man, and he's just absolutely destroyed off the bat. That's why we got to build up zone, guys. That's great defense, guys. Just don't even bother. Just watch him. Like, what is, what is our offense doing? This is the first time I've had the ball the entire time. We've turned over the ball twice. Thanks, Kyle. Very upsetting. And Saquon Barkley, touchdown. As we go up, that's a, that's a weird spike. But it does finally get us on the board. We missed the extra point. What the? Yo. I can't believe we kept it out of the end zone there. What is that route? Look at that. So he was running a halfback angle of sorts. Watch him run this route. So he's running the halfback angle. He notices I'm on it. Look where the ball is thrown. Just see he on purpose <laughs> as a 70 something overall. Pass leads far away from the route. And it's a perfect throw to where I'm not even though I jumped the route. This is what I talk about. All Madden straight up cheats. I'm averaging 40 yards per call on this. Granted, it was one play, but I, I like those, those numbers. And there it is. Saquon Barkley outrun to Ron Harmon. He breaks the tackle. Pretty good game. That's going to set us up basically in field goal range. 12 seconds. I'd like to take a shot at the end zone here. Let's hope somebody gets open. That's great. That's great. Yeah, it's wide open. Because why would it be covered? Why would it be? Man coverage sucks. That's my review. Zero out of ten. It's so bad. And they drill the field goal. Steven Goskowski from... A while away. We're going to start the third quarter here down 23-6. to six. And um, if I don't play this full game out, we're definitely going to lose. If we do play the moments, which I likely will, we're certainly going to lose. So this is a tough spot. Third and two. Got to keep the drive alive. We're definitely going to go for it if we don't get it. I, I Again, I hate to do this. Well, I'm going to. I need to see how we didn't get that. I need to see how that spin move didn't work. I'm, I'm just, I'm super curious because I feel like we hit the hole pretty well. So we're looking for the hole. Maybe that was it. Should have cut up field there. But I was trying to see if it was open. So I try to spin back to it. And it would, looked like it was wide open. But uh, as you can see, randomly during the spin move, he braces for impact and starts running the other way. The spin move not perfect right through that hole. Look what he does, dude. There, stack in the box. Give me a block on the outside, and this is going to be huge. There's Saquon Barkley. Go! Will you turn on the Jets? Come on, dude. I'll take the huge first down, though. Saquon's coming up on 200 yards in the third quarter. There's Odell. Great pass from Laletta. And we are into the end zone for 
the touchdown. Schmoney Dance, Odell's 10th of the season. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and take the extra point here. Probably should have let the CPU do this. But they would have missed another one. So it is going to be 23 to 13, down by 10 points. You know, we're still in this game. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Can we get some type of pressure? Landon Collins interception. He overran it. If I didn't switch on, that's a touchdown. Like, come on, man. I'll take the turnover. Landon Collins, third of the season. Not terrible. And third down alert. We're taking over. Third and ten. I'm a big fan of this play. I found it a little while ago. You fade the tight end at a single back, whatever the hell. And something usually gets open. That time I just waited too long. It's another sack fumble. I'm not going to lose my my patience well I'm, I'm not that's not even an issue um that's what his 10th fumble doesn't even show in the fucking graphic uh we're back in the red zone here though i still like to play it's pa crosses and i just waited too long to throw it i waited way too long i had saquon barkley i just i gotta learn to take the check down that's what it is i gotta learn to take the check down god damn it man they sent a looping blitz on the, I, I run play action. I think I... Oh, man. Oh, okay. Second and 27. No play action. They were ready for it. There's Evan Ingram. Come on, Evan. Come on. Do you Evan lift, bro? Nice. All right. We're, we're you know, still in striking distance. We got to score. But we're going to take our points. And uh, we're only going to be down by a touchdown. There it is. Come on. All right, straight through the uprights. 23 to 16. We can do this. Oh, we got the ball back. Hell yeah, dude. Bench pivot. I like I like the look of this. Not particularly actually, but let's see does anything get open? I sure hope so. Kyle Van Noy basically an edge rusher comes in makes a diving play in coverage there to stop the first down you guys wonder why i freak out it's that it's that stuff right there that's just unbelievable uh, all right saquon good stuff we're gonna go i form do i like your i form pro is it the stretch I feel like that's the one that I've had success with. I think it's out of this I-form. It's not. It's, it's something different, I think. But this is an I-form stretch. Here's the handoff. Saquon Barkley! All right, first down. We got that. Let's go into the hurry up here. Let's hand the ball off to him again. Oh, actually, no. We're going to try a slant here. Dude, I love red zone slants. Finally left to make an audible. Look for Odell. If not, Sterling Shepard. Just, just hold a block for a second. Just a second. Come on now. Third and goal from the three. I'm going to trust Saquon Barkley here. Which means I'm really going to trust Odell here. Oh my god. It wasn't even Odell. It was on Trent Brown. He let go of the block. It's going to be fourth and goal from the two. I'm not sure how we're going to get this. Is that what we're going to run here? It is Saquon Barkley. I'm counting on bad blockers to make blocks here. Saquon Barkley to the outside. And the touchdown. Oh, that was a nerve-wracking sequence, but Saquon Barkley gets into the end zone. We kick the extra point. Let's make a stop. All right, Howard Russell, your time to shine. Somebody just pick up a block. Uh, you know what? Kind of. Mm, not eh, whatever. All right, 23-23, two-minute drill for Kyle Aletta. Just let me take, thank you. Let me take control. Wayne Gallman, just pick up the block here. They're sending the safety on a blitz. I don't even know what's happening now. We're going to throw it. On the run, a perfect pass to Howard Russell. Should have spun out of bounds, maybe. But I don't want to use the timeout anyway. That was such a weird defense that came out and sent Oki roll. Just get open. I don't like any of these options. We're going to throw it away. Second and 10. They're sending heat. Wayne Gallman picks it up, though. 
Just got to wait for that so the cornerback doesn't turn around. Howard Russell first down, and we're going to call a timeout. We're very, very close to field goal range. If we could manage to score a touchdown, we'd be in a lot better shape than having to worry about the field goal. And Saquon Barkley doing everything he can to allow that. Just go down, man. We got one second. We're going to get iced hard. But that Saquon Barkley run was pretty big for uh, for positioning here. Thought we maybe could add a touchdown there. And they're going to ice us. Let's see what we can do here. I hate this. I don't know where we're lined up to. I gotta go a little bit to the right and just hope I can drill this. Kick is up. Kick is wide left. I cannot handle the ice, man. I have no kick arc. I have no idea where I'm kicking. I hate it. We win the toss. You guys get a... Uh, get a uh, free, free baseball. Oh, it's football. I don't know if you guys ever heard that term for extra innings. It's pretty much free either way whatever all right football overtime i hate i i can't kick ice field i don't know if you guys struggle with that but with no kick arc on all madden with no vibration on the uh on it on the opposite hash so it's focus up right in the middle shit is impossible saquon barkley though is uh really going off 239 yards rushing Looks like Saquon's doing all he can to break the record, uh, the record for rushing yards in a game, which is 296 by Adrian Peterson, which he did in 2007 against the LA, not LA Chargers, the San Diego Chargers at the time. And Saquon Barkley, he has had about 40 carries, <laughs> but 257 rushing yards. Is that a franchise record that just popped up and said? That's pretty good. Second 11, might take a shot here. Oh, we're gonna have time. There's Odell. It's a good pass. Oh, I went for the hurdle. Could you guys imagine a fumble there? I don't know why I do it to myself. I really am just trying to throw the game away, apparently. Good block. Saquon Barkley fight. End zone. Touchdown. That's the ball game. Saquon Barkley fights his way into the end zone. And we have won an overtime thriller versus the New England Patriots. Anytime these two teams meet, it's one hell of a game. And that one certainly uh, exceeded my expectations as we almost lost. That was anything but boring as I anticipated. Kyle Aletta just continues to disappoint me in simulation, even when I'm using him. It doesn't matter. Rushing Saquon Barkley, three touchdowns, 267 yards, nine broken tackles. He was a beast. He's getting to be really, really good. Sterling Shepard led our team in catches and yards. Or Odell had the sole receiving touchdown for us. Blocking. Overall, not terrible. Stefan Gilmore had a ton of tackles. Tackles for loss. Roman Pugh was out there. Also had a sack. A lot of sacks for New England. Only one for us. Interceptions, one for Lennon Collins. And that was it. Any forced fumbles? Oh, a lot. Dante Hightower, Nick Kwiatkowski, and Adrian Claiborne. They recovered two of them. No defensive touchdowns. Tell me Saquon has an upgrade point. Thank you. What do we want to do on him? Probably elusive back. I mean, it just makes the most sense. Give me spin move. You guys know I rarely juke. I do like the option. I'm more of a spinner. I like to spin. Saquon goes up to a 93 overall with confidence. Show me plus two spin move. Ugh, plus two ball carry vision doesn't matter. Awareness doesn't matter. Break tackle and elusiveness. Those are okay. So overall goes up. That's not really what I'm looking for. Erickson, we're all about blocking here. 69 overall. Nice. So, did Laletta his arm? Oh, that was last game. We're 8-2 and two right now. So far, Laletta is number one in the NFL in passing yards, but that is only because a lot of other teams have not played their games yet. I'm sure that will go down. It almost certainly will. But if we check out the New York football giants, I will tell you one thing for certain is Saquon Barkley will have... A number of yards 1250 and 13 touchdowns averaging 125 per game he has fumbled has broken 44 tackles he is just taking his game to another level in this season he's he leads the league in attempts by uh quite a lot 
he's gonna have 40 on the next guy probably even after we simulate but he's a ton more yards he's up there in yards per carry and touchdowns he of course leads so maybe saquon barkley mvp in store could be cool we got the vikings next week i told you guys i'm gonna play the moments uh but maybe we'll play a little bit more than we did the vikings are one and nine do we spend coach points on anything we don't really have enough for much i don't care about scouting we already have increased player weekly xp goal for everyone d-line linebackers and dbs offensive line is next for sure but uh hopefully today we can beat the minnesota vikings let's go ahead and check out the draft stories so the battle between two of the nation's top quarterbacks floyd earl and michael core did not fail to disappoint with earl emerging victorious so a lot of people it's all quarterback talk for the most part then trevor hull great d-line prospect just went down with long-term injury you don't like to hear that am i missing hull here that is a great defensive line prospect i don't see him could they be counting him as a left outside linebacker it would or right outside it it wouldn't make sense for them to i'm looking at the d-line i could be blind here i do not see any hole am i just like blind are they talking about some random is he not in the draft class yet is he going back to school like where are you quarterback floyd earl out of texas who's uh against core michael core out of mizzou that's your that's your number two quarterback he's a six round player okay anyway we're going up to minnesota to face the one and nine minnesota vikings the same overall as we are but the record almost inverted we'll see what we can do here today i'd love to get four sacks but we won't all right giants vikings here we go play the moments vikings of course never won a super bowl we got a nice four but all that could change big third down let's make a stop it won't change for them this year they're one and nine i don't think they're gonna be sneaking into the playoffs we're coming up to the end of the road we're eight and two we played 10 games this is our 11th so we're gonna have five more games to get numbers and, and win games or whatever we do and uh, can we get pressure after the quarterback kirk cousins goes down dalvin tomlinson on the sack it's a rare announcement first and ten we're going back to saquon saquon brackley Fun little story here. Saquon breaks a tackle. Spins back. Saquon Barkley. Outrun him. No, Andrew Sendejo. I was getting my hair cut a few months ago. I tweeted out about it. Twitter.com slash Bangle Designs. I'm sitting. You know, I live in New Jersey. So, I, uh, you know, you, you hear people talk about, you know, Giants, Jets, whatever. Yankees, Mets, whatever, whoever's, you know, the team at the time. As a, we're going to go deep. Bullet pass. Sterling Shepard. He overthrows him. Great stuff, Kyle. And um, I'm in the chair at Sports Clips because I, I mean I don't really care where I get my hair cut, and that's just that's just a place that's convenient, I guess, enough. Anyway, I'm in there, and this is just after the Giants took Saquon Barkley, and uh, the guy, somewhat of an older gentleman, gentleman in his 60s perhaps, is talking to the uh, the haircut lady, and he goes, "Yeah, so what about this uh, Shaquem Bradley?" <laughs> kid the Giants picked up she goes oh Barkley and he goes oh yeah, yeah. call him Shaquem Bradley I don't know it's still very funny to me as Shaquem can't get the first down here fourth and inches from about midfield we're gonna go for it we give it to Wayne Gallman here dude I don't think so I think I'm gonna look for Howard Russell and he's open go Howard decent spin move we'll take the first Kyle Oletta should be perfect on the game. Let's see what we can do here. Howard Russell, maybe. Mike Hughes on the pick. I don't know how he came to make that play. I don't know how that happened. Of course, I will go into replay mode because I, I love to watch it. So I look for Howard Russell pretty quickly. Why did they start me from that positioning? So... He looks open here. I throw it. I decide to throw it right. Let's see. Right. Boom. Pass lead to the inside. This is open field. Sandejo's in his back step. His backdrop. Drop back. Whatever. 
throw the ball, pass lead inside. And Mike Hughes defies the laws of physics to jump in front of the ball and make the interception. This stuff kills me. He's in a deep zone as well. And comes over the middle to make that play. I don't, I don't understand. Third and 16, what are the odds we actually make a defensive stop here? Low. He throws right into traffic. It doesn't matter. My linebackers are so ignorant to the ball being in the air. BJ Goodson makes a tackle. And they will punt back to us. But not good from the defense. I want turnovers. I don't, I don't care for stops. We're going to run something similar this time. Double posts. Oh my god, man! Sterling Shepard's coming open across the middle. I'm trying to find space in the pocket. And, uh... Clearly, we, we, I guess, step into the back of an offensive lineman. And he throws the ball pretty much straight into the ground. That's so dumb. Third and 11, 0-0. Zero, zero. Not much has happened here. Maybe, maybe somebody will make a play over the middle. I try to get any type of pressure on the quarterback. And that is at Morris DuBose, and it's picked off by Obi Melifonwu. That is almost certainly offensive pass interference. I don't know what that was. It's Obi Melifonwu. Looks like he was born out of Dalvin Cook's asshole. He scored a touchdown, and we're back on defense. Honestly, my favorite spot. Not even being sarcastic there. I usually am sarcastic, but not there. I actually, I love, I love defense in real life. Then the interception is the best play in football. Can we get pressure? Get off him! What is happening? My, my blood pressure has got to be so high. About 20 seconds. We got to keep him out of the end zone. No touchdowns. Field goal, whatever. No touchdowns. Jump up! Are you kidding me? I already know the CPU's jumping 30 feet in the air to pick off the ball. You can't even turn the fuck around to knock that down. Like, I am losing my mind playing this game. Because it's just... I always say it's not fair. And, like, life isn't fair. But the game should be a little more fair than it is. When nothing goes my way. And everything goes in favor of the CPU. We don't get any of the same animations. I mean, th their blocking is always phenomenal. Which reminds me, I'm going to turn that shit down. I'm going to turn down their fucking blocking. Because it is ridiculous that we get no pressure across the course of an entire game. Yet, uh, you know, they always get open. Their defensive players always play the ball incredibly well. And we don't get any animation. And I know, I complain literally every second of every video. I'm sorry. But shit's terrible. And I can't not tell you about it. Come on, Sackwin. Get me the first down here. I already know they're going to shed ridiculously. And there it is. There's the shed and a defensive tackle hit stick. Saquon's up near 200 yards again. 12 rushes, 197 yards. What? I mean, I'm not complaining, but god dang. Where did you get that from? He's over 200 again. That's unbelievable. He must have broke off a huge one. Welcome to Stretch City. Population... Saquon Barkley and the New York Giants. Here we go, Saquon. Another pretty big game. 233 yards on the on the day. I don't know what happened. It's like a you know a flip switched. And Saquon's been unstoppable in almost every single game we played this year. You know, past a certain point. I don't know when it started, but the offensive line still can't do anything. All right, third and goal. We're going to keep it on the ground. We're going to kill time. We're going to waste a timeout. And we're going to kick the field goal and go ahead. We're down at the three. Another good run. Can't get into the end zone. But we're going to take 20 to 10 this time. I'm not going to play greedy. We're going to take the points. I should be able to make this. And we do. I don't know what that angle was. I didn't like it. All right, they just used their final timeout. Run the ball to Saquon Barkley, and that's going to be the game. Go, Saquon. I'll take some extra yardage. 1,500 rushing yards on the season for Saquon Barkley. And uh, you know what? Why not get another one off? I know, you know, who, who runs up the score against a CPU like this? 
Who gets the extra stats in garbage time when you would need the ball? I do. I have earned it, you know? These games are not easy. I'm going to take the extra yards if I can get them. And you know what? That's three or four. I'll take it. So Saquon has been unstoppable in back-to-back -back weeks here. Kyle Aletta. It's a typical Kyle Aletta game, if I'm being honest. Rushing. 259 yards for Saquon Barkley. Averaging almost 10 per carry. Two touchdowns. He's just unstoppable. Kyle Rudolph tore us apart. Two touchdowns as well. Blocking. Overall, we were pretty good, actually. Tackle for loss, three for Everson Griffin. He was really good. A few. Damon Harrison had three sacks in Sim. What? <laughs> Dalvin Tomlinson won. Olivier Vernon won. Half a sack for Roman Pugh and BJ Goodson. Interceptions for Obi Melifonwu. And, of course, you saw the one from Mike Hughes. Four fumbles for Lennon Collins and Olivier Vernon. We did not recover any. We did not score a defensive touchdown. Let me go to the highlights here. We're not going to be able to see it. But did Saquon bust off a ridiculous run? He must have. Ninety-four yards to the house for Saquon Barkley. Wish I could see that, but that's going to be his new long on the season. Ninety-four yards is a decent bit. Right, we got a bunch of upgrades. We're going to spend them in this episode. If you made it to the end, here we are. It's got to be zone. Eighty-eight speed, eighty-nine zone. He's a hybrid style, is our scheme. We can change that at any point. We're going to go zone here. He stays at 94 overall. Hopefully zone gets touched, though. I'll take plus one to zone coverage. Saquon Barkley. We're going to go right back into elusive. Up to a 94 overall with confidence. Show me something here. Plus three spin move. Oh, my God. I'm so down. 94 spin. I, I didn't want to see anything else. Logan Robeson. I think we're going to go into agile on him. Doesn't move his overall up. Maybe he'll fit the scheme at some point. Gets higher run block finesse. He needs better run blocking overall. Wayne Gallman. Elusive back, I guess. Oh, he's face scan of the game. It's actually a little surprising. And then Tedrick Thompson, who is definitely not face scan of the game. You know, he gets hybrid. And he doesn't... He, I mean, he sees the field, honestly, way too much. But I think that's probably going to be the episode here. As we are improving to 9-2, and two, the confidence... It's just sky high for the team. Sky high for the offense, at least. Who's on the schedule next week? The Dallas Cowboys in week 13. I am down. We also have random upgrades for some guys on that point. On that, uh, the progression, I mean. Kyle Aletta might be from training. It's going to be Odell, Howard, Russell, Kyle Aletta on offense. Anyone on defense? Dubose, no. DeGear, no. Pretty much nobody. It is nobody. But wow, we got some offensive points to spend. That's going to be next episode, though. And this was a fun episode. Yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Oh, no!